大家好 In this lesson, we're going to learn about clothes in Chinese. 衣服衣服 The learning outcomes for this video are to recognize the characters for clothing words and to say what clothes or accessories you're wearing. First word, chuan. Chuan. This actually means to wear. So this is a verb to wear something, and this applies to most clothing items like shirts, tops, skirts, pants. For example, 你喜欢穿什么颜色的衣服？是什么意思？穿。第二，这是。Dai. This means to wear as well, but in Chinese we use this word when we're talking about wearing accessories, things like hats and scarves and glasses, things that we can add on on top. For example, Ta dai zhe mao zhe he wei jin. He is wearing a hat and a scarf. The first clothing word. Chen yi. Chen yi. This is. Shirt. So this is generally a buttoned-up shirt. Okay. On the right-hand side, we have e from e for. But when we make this character a radical and put it on the left-hand side, it looks like this. So this is our clothing radical, and you'll see that in a lot of different clothes that we talk about. 这是衬衣，比如说，我穿着衬衣。So this 这 Word is a continuous aspect particle. That's a little bit confusing, but it's a little bit like something's currently happening at 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 the time for a, for a continuous state. So it's sort of like the ing in English. So I am wearing a chin yi. 我穿着衬衣。这是什么 ？Something above. So just a shang yi. So this isn't necessarily a jacket; it's generally a top. So anything that you wear on the top half, it could be like a light sports jacket. It could just be a, a nice top. So 我有八件蓝色的上衣。件 is a measure word for most clothing items. 我有八件蓝色的上衣。这是什么？大大衣，这是 coat。你有黑色的大衣吗？这是什么 ？T 恤 ，T 恤 ，T 恤。我有很多 T 恤。This is a really interesting one because it has a letter T in it. And that is just how it is. T shoe. This is 什么 See the clothing radical on the left side. This is 裙子 Careful with pronunciation. 裙子很好 So the way I remember this one.、Um, so we've got the clothing radical on the left hand side, but on the right hand side, this is like.、Um, Like something to do with the emperor or or、uh, something royal.、Um, so in the olden days,、uh, so how I remember this one is firstly we've got the clothing radical on the left hand side, but on the right hand side this this has something to do with an emperor. And so back in ancient China, the emperor wore a massive big big robe.、Um, sometimes a, a fun way maybe you think.、Oh, That dress is so beautiful, or that skirt is so beautiful. So you open your mouth. So you've got your coal here. So just think of a way that you can remember. So a chunz can be a dress or a skirt. So 我有三条裙子 This is a measure word for skirts, dresses, and pants. So they're long, skinny things. Remember, ah,、uh, 一条鱼 and 一条蛇很好我有三条裙子。这是什么？这是裤子 ，trousers。On the left hand side, we've got the radical for clothing, and then on the right hand side, this is the sound part. 
um, ku. So ku zi is trousers, but we have different types of trousers. So we've got chang ku, which are long ones, and duan ku, which are shorts. So here we go, chang means long in length. So gao is tall in height, but chang, long in length. And then duan is short in length. So we can use chang and duan to describe other types of clothing as well. We could use chang chun, a long skirt or dress, and duan chun is a short skirt or dress, or long or short other things as well. Kuzi, trousers. Jishishama, niu zai ku. Literally, niu you might have noticed as a cow, niu zai is a cowboy. So niu zai ku, cowboy print. Pants, but we know them as jeans. Cool. Ta chuan zhe niu zai ku. He is wearing jeans. Xia yi ge. Ooh, this is what? This is wei jin. Wei jin. So wei means to surround something, and jin is like a, a small cloth of some sort. Wo ma ma xi huan dai wei jin. Remember, dai is used for accessories. This is what? Another accessory. This is mao zi. Mao zi, a cap or a hat. So on the left hand side, you'll notice that it is the the jin from the wei jin. So it's like a, a cloth. So it's kind of like the material it's made of. Um, the font in this case um, actually surrounds. The whole thing and it encloses it at the top here, so it looks like a bit like a ru, but it's not actually. But it is a little bit helpful if you think of the ru, and at the bottom here, this is our eye radical. So what's stopping from the sun from getting into our eyes is our cap, our mouth. Mouth. Wo dai je mouth. I am wearing a cap. This is what? This is what? So you might think, oh, this looks a little bit like Mei Mei, this right side here. So, 我妹妹有紫色的袜子。袜子。鞋子。鞋子. This is a really tricky one. Um, so this... The radical here is about the ground, uh, the earth, so your shoes are the things that touch the earth. So maybe that's something that can help you um, remember it. So you've got two of them, so you've got two shoes that are touching the earth. Xie zi, or you can just say xie, doesn't have to be the zi. This one, different type of shoe, is a pi xie. Pi xie. Pi means skin or leather. So pi xie is a leather shoe. And yun dong xie. Sport shoes, yun dong xie. For example, wo you san shuang xie zi. New measure word. Shuang means a pair of something. So in Chinese, we don't have a pair of pants or a pair of trousers like we do in English. Um, we use tiao for pants, but we do use shuang for a pair of shoes because you have two of them. Yi shuang xie zi. For follow up, log on to Quizlet and test yourself. Make sure you do that now and maybe in a day or two as well. That will help you reinforce the learning. And make sure your notes are complete and write down any questions you have about this video. You may want to print out the notes and um, write it in so you can bring it to class as well. Xie xie, zai jian. <laughs>